I think I've given everyone my secret to coming round late at night when I'm not invited is with a cake in my hands. I'm afraid for the ding dong. <laughs> I'm slightly nervous. <laughs> But I'm looking forward to the cake. Well, the cake will be delicious. Yes. What you'll probably do is tell me to leave the cake on the front door. And please leave. And go away. There yes. we go. Now, into my little sifter here, I've put one cup of flour. Mm -hmm. And it's self-raising flour because I want that lift and that fluffiness, very much like me. And into that, I'm going to put some cocoa. This chocolate fudge cake is rich. It's lovely. This is the sort of cake that if you, you know, got a dinner party, you would have dinner, you know, and then get up from the table, go into the kitchen, make this up. By the time you've cleared the table, put everything in the dishwasher, wow. the cake will come out of the oven okay. and be ready to eat. A little bit of baking powder because yes. you want that extra bit of lift. Yep. And then all we need to do is sift it. Now, would you like me to no, tap it? No, you go for I'll it. I'll go straight into we it. We both know what happens with me in a sifter. It'll go everywhere. Yes. Now, I like to sift the flour and everything together. Take away any little lumps that are there and give it a nice, smooth appearance when it all lifts up and becomes nice and fluffy. Last little bits go through there. Yep. It's smelling good already. It is. I can... <coughs> it's like right in my pharynx. Now, in goes some sugar because we love some sweetness. And of course, some melted butter goes in there as well. Okay. Because that makes it taste good also. So this is decadent. We're talking pure decadence indulgence here. It's chocolate cake. Yeah. You can call it I whatever say you want. if you're gonna do it, go hard. Exactly. Do That's it properly. what I say as well. That's the best way to do it, yeah. I say. Now I've got some milk here, and I'm gonna put half a cup of milk straight in here. Right off the top here like that. Do you remember the days, you probably don't, when the milk used to be delivered I by don't. horse and cart? No, I think you're much older than me, friend. Not by much. much. There we Not go. I'll much. hand that over there okay. like that. I remember chasing the uh, the horse on the cart around and we'd hop onto the back of it and the uh, milkman would let us go around for a couple of blocks and then tell us to get off. Okay. In goes an egg there as well. And then I've got a whisk over there. I want yes. you to start whisking it together until it comes together to a nice, thick batter. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. And what I've got here is a souffle dish, but you can use any sort of dish you want. But what I've done is I've lined it with some uh, butter and then just dusted some flour around. Okay. And that helps to coat the outside of it so that nothing sticks to it. Yep. That's coming together beautifully. Yeah, lovely. Now, at this stage here, yes. I'm going to grab that whisk off you. Now, I love this part. Just taking all of the chocolate batter off it. You can see it's coming off like that, nice and easily. Yep. You can tap it as well if you want to. But they say that it damages the whisk, so you don't want to do that. Oh, that's why you don't do it. Well, you can. Oh, I do it all the time. Nice and gently like that, but it also makes a, a noise that gets yes, everyone excited. it's a little bit irritating, yes. And this is the best part, Priya. Mm. Happy place for you. I love that. Good. Oh. And then with a the spatula, I just spoon out that butter. Mm. You can see it's quite thick, this I was going to say it is very thick, but you can smell that chocolatey goodness. <laughs> the butter, the chocolate, it's all in there. There's nothing better than that. And with the back of the uh, spatula, I just spoon it around to cover the bottom. Okay. You want to spread it out right to the edges like that, just spinning it around. This is my fun job in the entire world. This is my happy place. Yes. This is my chocolate realm, isn't it? Oh, your realm. I, I like be, it. I nice can be word. the king and you can be the queen. Uh, okay. How's that? Now, that's ready to go like that. But to make the chocolate fudge sauce that goes with it, I've got some boiling water here. This is about a cup of boiling water. And I'll add to that some caster sugar mm -hmm. that'll make it nice and delicious. Some brown sugar in there. Okay. And you can pass me that cocoa. Yes. And the coffee. Pour it straight in. Mm. In oh, it that's goes. coffee. I wondered what that was. It's coffee. Instant coffee. Nice. I've made this before with coffee granules, you know, the, uh, the yeah, actual yeah. coffee. Or if you don't have instant coffee, you can make yourself a little espresso or double espresso or Pour even a cafe latte. Pour it in. Okay. And off you go. Okay. Now, I'll spread this around here like that Ooh. and then just carefully pour it over the top and you'll find that this will become part of the fudge and make okay. it nice and delicious. Gooey, I'm envisioning. Saucy, gooey, but we'd better bake it. 160 degrees Celsius, about 35 to 40 minutes, depending on the type of dish. It'll come out of the oven and be ready to eat. Hot and tasty chocolate fudge pudding mm. straight out of the oven. I can smell it. It is just chocolate. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Decadence galore. Icing sugar on top? Yes. You need icing sugar. Yeah. No, right. I agree with you. I think if you're going to go there, I think you just do it properly. Use it like you stole it. Use it like it's your last wow. day on earth. Now, pick that up like that. Oh, you look at that gooey chocolate look at sauce the underneath. Gooeyness. 
this. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, we're not finished yet. No, Some I can see. Sauce this. all over there. Holy moly, you're you... just <laughs> making your happy noises. Oh, oh. <laughs> this, this is one of the best things in the entire world. Lots of chocolatey goodness. Yes. Nice scoop of sour cream to help cut I the like that. Uh, cut through the chocolate. You need that, don't you? Yep, and then a little mint leaf on the side there. A cracking little dessert. Oh, more icing sugar, okay? Well, we've just got to do this properly. Yeah, okay, fine. I think enjoy a little bit of it. Enjoy it mindfully. Oh. Don't eat it every single day, ideally. Oh. Not great for your glucose. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just everywhere. I'll Look have at some that. too. Okay. We'll tuck into that. That looks like a cracking little dessert. Lots of sauce in there. And you've got that light, soft, chocolatey fudge cake gonna, on the top of it. I'm going to do a bit of sour cream too, mm. okay? Mm. How's that? Mm. Very rich, very decadent. I really love it. Like, I do love that. I just wouldn't eat it every day. I really like the sour cream. Something a bit different cuts through. I really like it. You could have it every, every second day, couldn't you? You could. Yeah. Ideally not. Maybe.